Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to place an order and upload images. So let's go ahead and log into our account over here on the right hand side and then select a product that we want to order from this list on the left or one of these four if that suits your purpose. So let's go ahead and select the frame with one opening mat. And now we have some uh, choices to make here. And so the first thing we need to do is choose the size that we're looking to order today. Um, some of the sizes of prints that are listed are duplicated in different size frames. So just, just watch out for that. Like the 8x10 and an 1114. It also is 8x10 and a 1214. So just make sure you are getting the right size frame when you place the order. Now we're going to choose the molding. So go ahead and click there and the molding box will launch. All those moldings are listed alphabetically and the price category is in the name of each molding. Artesian, Deluxe, Portrait and Slim. So we'll go ahead and scroll down and pick a frame. Next we need to choose a mat. Uh, mats again are listed alphabetically uh, starting with the top mat color. If there's a custom combination that we want to order from the available mats, we scroll down to the end and select the custom combo mat color. So why don't we do that today? Let's go ahead and select that. And then if we are going to have an image uploaded, this is where we're going to select to choose the image. If we want to have that image printed, we definitely need to upload an image there, um, but it is not necessary if you just want to order the frame and put the image in yourself. So let's go ahead and upload an image here. Um, we click on that box, and if the image is not one we've already uploaded, we'll go ahead and click Choose File, and then select an image from the list. Uh, we can select up to four here. We hit submit. Images do need to be around 12 megabytes or less. If your image is a big file, just compress it before you upload it. And you do want to go ahead and trim or crop whatever your image before you upload. Uh, Photoshop or whatever software you use is much more detailed than this little thumbnail you see on the screen here. So you can use it if you want to reposition the image, but it's better if you use your own uh, editing software. So let's select the image that we want and you see it's going to populate the frame. Uh, we can just move it down here so we don't cut off the top of our head. And um, if we wanted to uh, rotate it, we could rotate the frame if we just wanted that. But I think we'll just go ahead and do a vertical. Um, on our uh, glazing options, we definitely want to have the clear acrylic in front of that. And we're going to select print assembly today because we do want that printing. So we're all good here. We're going to add it to our cart. And now remember we were wanting a custom color mat. So what here we're going to type in from the list of options available. And let's just say we want black over red. And we save those notes and then that instruction there is going to tell us that that's the custom combination of the color of the mat. So we go ahead and click check out if we're all done. And now we're going to go through the steps of checking out. When you hit continue to check out here, it's going to transfer you over to a secure server. And then you're going to proceed through the checkout following the options below the line here. We can enter a new address or one that we've already got on file. Billing information, we can enter a new profile or one we already have. And then we're getting a summary here and we have to decide do we want to place the order? Is everything how we want it to look? And I think so. So we'll hit place order. We'll get a confirmation on the screen and we'll receive an email uh, confirmation of that order. So let's go ahead and check our email. And there is our confirmation and everything looks good. There is a little option here, product image. If you click on that, and uh, that's going to show you what you just ordered. So we can go ahead and do that. And there you can see as a little thumbnail of the order that you just placed. If when you get your order confirmation, that's not what you see, if it's not correct, make sure you let us know. Low res images are only included in the email confirmations. The high res image was transmitted with the order. This is just here for your reference um, and as it says for the bandwidth restrictions. And that's it. We have placed our order with GNP Frame.